Hi, are you looking for second income ideas? That's exactly what I'll be sharing with you in this video. Hi, I'm Camille Gaines, founder of FinancialWoman.com and author of Earn, Grow, Give. One of the things that I like to help women do in my financial coaching is figure out how to generate more income streams. You may be straight out of college or you might be in midlife like I was when I started creating additional income streams. And I'm going to share with you in this video the easiest and fastest income stream to get going right away with minimal cost. Because a lot of income streams they require capital, right? Income from dividends or income from uh, real estate. That takes capital. That takes a lot of money. I'm going to share with you an easy, easy way to get started creating second income streams. So what I want to share with you first is step number one, believe that you can do it. So, so many people get caught up in, the, in thinking that they can't do it. All these other people do it, but for some reason I can't do it. So you got to drop that. That's step number one. Step number two is think about what you're good at. So what does everybody always ask you to help them with? What do your friends and family say? You're so good at so-and-so. Would you help me do that? Or you may have had success with something in your career that everybody, you were the go-to person in your office that everybody wanted you to help them with this thing. What is that thing? Now you're probably going to come up with two or three different things. That's okay. Dump them out and onto, I like to journal things, so dump them out onto a piece of paper or a journal and think about what those things are that you're good at. And you know, it feels funny sometimes to say I'm good at this, but you gotta do that step. Okay, and then step number three is identify how you can help others with that skill. So what's the end result? What is it that you do that can help others? That end result, does it make them, for example, for a, uh, say you're a professional uh, stylist, closet stylist, and you help people, women put together their wardrobes. So what does that make them do ultimately? It makes them feel great. It makes them feel confident about their clothes. So identify that very, very last step that you'll be helping your clients achieve, okay? Step number four is line up three people that will be your free clients and do this work for them. Number one, it will give you confidence. And number two is you'll get some testimonials and you'll be able to use that to let other people know that, hey, I really can do this. I can help you just like I help these people. And then step number five, set your hourly rate. Figure out how much money you are comfortable or you can make doing this skill. Now, I shouldn't have said comfortable because usually this involves leaving our comfort zone because we think, oh, we're not really worth that or we try to undervalue ourselves, especially women. So I want you to set your hour, hourly rate knowing that you can increase it as you go and the main thing is to get started making some income from this endeavor. And then once you get a client base, you can increase that, that amount that you're charging on an hourly rate. And then the next thing I want you to do is order some business cards. This is so easy. So one of the places I've ordered before, I like to get my Vista print. It's simple. They have some great templates in there. Don't get caught up on what will I name my company. You know, you know we can we can go off in a million directions and procrastinate. So just use your own name if you don't know, and if you if you do know already, great. But you probably don't, so you can just use your own name. Get the business cards printed. It's probably $25 now. I uh, haven't ordered any in a while, but somewhere around there, and that is an investment for a second income stream, seriously. So so don't get caught up in the name. Just, just go with it and know that you can replace these cards. You're going to be tweaking these cards constantly anyway. So get the cards ordered. That's step number six. And then step number seven is give your card to family and friends. Let them know what you do. Ask them for referrals. And then also do some no local networking where people would be that would be interested in the service that you're offering. You know what? I want you to practice before you go network, and this is an extra step that I wasn't planning on giving you, but stand in front of the mirror and tell people what you do and practice that about 10 times before you go so you feel confident and it easily you're easily able to tell people what you do with this new skill. I'm so excited that you're going to try this. So those are the steps and 
what I want you to do, remember I'm founder of financialwoman.com, I'm a financial coach, so I want you to keep track of your expenses because this is a legitimate business because you're doing this to make an income and so that makes it a legitimate business. So keep track of those expenses. And if you like this information, please let me know by liking uh, the video below and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos.